Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura and I love making gifts or I'll make the bags that the gifts go in. Either or, I love sewing for other people. And every once in a while, I gift myself something too. I have found a fun project that I am going to be able to make some zippy bags and it is a panel. This panel will give us eight zippy bags. All of the fabric is printed for us in different fun prints. We're going to be able to make eight bags and you can get the zippers to go with them. So we don't have to buy a lot of different fabric. We're just going to be able to make these bags and have a lot of fun. Now the panel does come with directions on how to make the bag. So I'm going to make one bag that way and then I'm going to show you how we can actually line those bags. So if you want a line bag, we could do that too. This is a nice panel to work with. All of the fabrics are printed and the fabric itself feels like a lightweight twill. So it's going to have some strength to it. Each section makes a bag. We have the front, the top, the area where the zipper goes in, and the back fabric. This panel is from Riley Blake and you can get matching zippers also from Riley Blake. What's nice about these zippers is, well, they do coordinate. I really like these zippers because the zippers have the opening where we're going to be able to zip it through that center. We do have the directions printed right on that panel. And we also have these little pieces here, and those are going to be little tabs that we're going to be able to put on the bags. So let's start and make the one bag the way the directions are going to tell us to do, and then I'll show you how we can line those bags. The directions have us cut out right on those lines. When I cut out that one bag, I also will cut out one of the little tags. Before I make the bag, I do want to make this little tag. So we're going to take that little piece of fabric, fold it in half lengthwise, and stitch along that edge a quarter inch and turn it right side out. We're going to be able to fold it in half. Before I go any further, I'm going to take that and put it where I want it, pin it down with the safety pin, do a little stitch here to anchor that on and do less than a quarter inch. We're going to put a zipper right there where that zipper picture is going to go. So the directions have us cut right down that center. The zipper is treated the same as we're going to sew two sides of the fabric together. We have the right side and the right side that need to go together. So we have the right side and the right side that are going to go together. And that piece where those two ends are going to meet are still going to meet. We just need to have the right sides together. Match up those edges and pin on the wrong side of that zipper. And by having those pins on the opposite side, it means I have no pins in the way as I'm stitching. And I will need to stitch right along this edge. So in order to do that, I do have my pins on the opposite side. The edge of this foot will run along that little hump where that zipper is. So that foot will run along this edge, but the stitches are stitching over a little bit. There it is running tight along that edge and I can hold it right along that edge and stitch right off. So I've stitched that one side on. I can remove those pins. You need a little bit of space in here, and that way the zipper pull won't be too tight. What we can do is top stitch this down. And one side of that zipper is now done. So I now need to put on the second side of the zipper. The right sides go together, and those edges are going to match. And I'm still going to pin on the opposite side. But what I do want to do is line up those edges. So this is the side that I want to stitch. Now you can stitch it on this side if you'd like, or you can flip it over. They both work the same way. 
Now I'm going to be able to iron that over and just do a little top stitch all the way down that edge. I'm going to open up that zipper so I have enough of an opening that I can turn this right side out. This is supposed to be a cutting line, so you can cut it or just fold it. When I fold that and turn it over, you're going to notice that that top is a little big, and that's okay. That just gives us a little space to work with that zipper. So I'm going to stitch all the way around, and this will be trimmed off. This is a nylon zipper, so we're going to be able to stitch very slowly over top of these zippers. I can now do a treatment for those sides. I could put a nice zigzag on and finish that off or use a pair of pinking shears. And yes, I'm going to cut right through that zipper. I'm going to be able to turn it right side out. And that pretty little zippy bag is now done. These are great just this way, but there is a way that we can line them. To make these bags lined, what we're going to need are the same supplies, the zipper, those little tags. We're also going to need a piece of fabric that is the same size as your bag. I'm going to treat most of this the same way. I'm going to cut that zipper part open and I'm going to keep those two layers together and that way it's always going to remain the same size. And just for simplicity, this lining fabric is the same on both sides. I need to add that zipper in. I'm going to put those pulls right to the end. I'm going to work on that large piece and I'm going to take off that lining. Fold the zipper down so the right sides are touching. From there, I'm going to add that lining fabric right on top. So I'm sandwiching that zipper in between these two layers of fabric. Line up those edges I will still be stitching this edge of that zipper with the zipper foot running along that edge of the zipper. But this time, I need to leave a space here and a space here. And I would recommend three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to start and I'm going to stitch here and stop at that three quarters of an inch. So we're going to have a flap on the one side and a flap on the other. Take this, press it so you see the zipper, and we're going to top stitch. But we're going to top stitch starting at that three quarters of an inch and ending at that three quarters of an inch. So these ends will not be stitched down. We need to stitch this top piece on. This top piece, we're going to do right side to right side, edges meeting. Now I need to match up that backing fabric. I will be stitching down here with that zipper foot and I'm also leaving that same three quarters of an inch on each side. I'm repeating what I did the first time on this side. Stitch, leave that opening, press those fabrics and top stitch leaving that opening. So that zipper looks nice from both sides. Take the pulls and leave that opening. We're going to stitch the lining together and the bag together separately. So I'm still folding on this line. And just to keep things the same size, I'm just going to mark where I'm going to fold the lining. Once I have that fold, I'm going to pick up that top fabric and pin it together. So you can see I'm not touching that lining. That zipper is going to go with this bag front. So I'm pretending that lining is not attached. So if you look from the lining side, the zipper is going to stay down. I've pulled this lining out of the way and I'm pinning. So all of this lining is just staying out of the way. You can even just pin it out of the way. And just like the first bag, I'm going to stitch all the way around. I still have that little extra amount that I'm going to be able to trim off in the top. Now unpin that lining, fold that up so it is matching. And this time, we're going to take the front of the bag and pin it out of the way. 
So when I pull that zipper back, I'm going to see that lining piece. I have the front of the bag pinned out of the way. That way I can see this edge. And for the lining, we only need to stitch these sides. Before we do that, we can just trim off that top. Once all the layers are done, we're going to be able to turn this so the right side is facing inside. We could just smooth out those edges and match that top edge. And do one row of stitching to close that off. So you're going to be stitching through all of those layers. When that edge is all stitched down, we can either do a row of zigzag to finish it off or just clean it up with some pinking shears. We're going to be able to turn the whole bag right side out. By stitching the lining into the top of the bag, it's going to prevent that lining from falling down. We're not worried about the bottom. It's that top we don't want to fall down. Now we can just press it and we're done. Now there's one other thing that we can do. We can put flat bottoms on those ends. If you're going to do that, it will be easier to do it if we do not have lined bags. From here, we're going to fold these corners. This seam needs to match this seam. And the easiest way is just to grab those two sides and just pull it. Once that bottom and side seams match, we're going to be able to draw a line. We're going to take a straight line from the ruler and just match it up to that edge and then choose a measurement. And in this case, I've done just a little half inch. Draw a line and stitch that line. When we open that bag back out, it gives us this little bottom. So instead of being flat here, it kind of gives us a box bottom. So this was a small one, but you can do a big one for the bigger bags. So that gives you a nice big bottom. Regardless, if you line these bags or put the square bottoms on, they really are sweet little bags. That panel gives us four medium-sized bags. They're about nine inch square. And the larger ones are 14 inches by about 12 inches. The panel does not give us directions for these little square bottoms or for the lining. It just gives us the fun little directions for those quick little zippy bags. So the zippy bag can be made very easily, just a little bit of stitching, or we can add to them and add some lining or those little boxed corners. There are four of these medium-sized bags and four of these nice big bags. These bags would be great for storing things. Even if you're traveling, you can put them in your suitcase. And of course, they make great gifts. And thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe. I'm on Facebook, Instagram. I have a newsletter. It's all free under So Very Easy. Thanks again, and be sure to make every day a so day. Bye for now.